Hey, Derek here, and in this lesson, I am going to show you how to configure Yoast SEO for WordPress to avoid any potential duplicate content penalties. Now, I'm not going to get into all the different things that Yoast does. This is a real quick, here's the things you need to click off to make sure you're not getting nailed for duplicate content, all right? So, if you don't already have Yoast installed, hey, no problem, head over to the plugins directory, click on add new, search for Yoast, Y-O-A-S-T, and then install it once it's installed installed and activated over here you will see in your side menu SEO okay so let's jump into the parts that really matter for duplicate content okay the very first place we need to go is to titles and meta and then more specifically where we want to go is over to taxonomies okay because we know the taxonomies are a pain in the butt and they can create duplicate content penalties now when I say they're a pain in the butt they're very very useful for organizing your content but if you're not paying attention they're quietly creating duplicate content while you're not looking which eh, Google's not a big fan of so what we want to do here is we want to make sure these are set up properly as to not create duplicate content. Now, the way I have my site set up is all my content is organized into categories, okay? And all of my posts have excerpts. So on any category page that a post is in, you're never going to have the full content displayed. You're going to have an excerpt that then links off to the full archive or the full article or the full post, okay? And because I've used the categories to structure the content across my website, I'm going to leave that open for Google to index and follow and that's okay okay that's a good thing and uh, you know Google has, has said that you know categories are okay uh, the one thing you do want to avoid though is not posting the entire article with on on the category page okay so make sure you're using the excerpts now the one thing I do like to avoid though is tags okay so I'm gonna check off no index follow my tags okay so if there is a tag they could follow it but I do not want them indexing my tags all right and then the other one here to no index and follow is the format taxonomy and if you had custom taxonomies in here you may want to choose whether you want to index them as well okay so that's our taxonomy tag and this is where we deal with avoiding the duplicate content penalties in the taxonomies and remember make sure you're using excerpts and not your full post all right and uh, as I've said, you know, the excerpt, you can actually create that manually in the post. And then if you want to do some more fancy excerpts, there are some great excerpt format plugins out there. Okay, the next thing that I want to do here is over on the other tag. Now, if you're the only author on your website, you do not need an author archive. And right now, I'm the only author on my website, so I'm just going to disable that author archive, all right? Because an author archive is an archive of uh, by author of everybody who's written on your site and what they've written, and that can create duplicate content. So I don't want it. Boom, gone. Now, if I had multiple different authors on my website and uh, that wasn't the taxonomy that I wanted to organize stuff by, I would mark it as no index and follow. And the same goes for date archives, all right? I am not archiving by date. It's not an issue for me. So I'm gonna disable the date-based archives. And uh, once again, if I was indexing it by or organizing it by date, I may have it as special index, uh, or pardon me, as no index follow. And, uh, but this, in this case, I don't need it. So I'm gonna disable it entirely, all right? And you're gonna know if you've got multiple authors and you have a section where you know all the authors have all their, their stuff listed, great, then you wanna enable it. If you're organizing by date, okay, and maybe you have a, a widget where people can browse content by date, stuff like that, so you're using date-based archives, great, enable it. But uh, if you're not, just disable them, get them out of the way, and then they're a non-issue. And then finally, the special pages down here, just leave these alone because Yoast has already set these to no index. You do not want those pages indexed, all right? And then uh, moving down here, a couple more little things that we want to look at uh, to make sure we're fully optimized. XML sitemaps. Okay, so under XML sitemaps, uh, if you've got another sitemap plugin, that you're using and you don't want to use this one, great. You want to uncheck that, that's fine. And uh, the one thing I like to do here in my sitemap is I'm going to exclude taxonomies that I have uh, that I'm not really using, okay? So for example, tags and format, I don't want those because I'm not using those taxonomies. But I am using categories, so I'm going to leave that, 
All right, if you are using tags, then you may want to make sure that that is unchecked so that they can spider. All right, then under permalinks, there's two things under here that I'd like you to do. First of all, check off, strip the category base, okay? So if I have a category and I'm using them, it's going to strip off the forward slash category forward slash before the name of the category. And what that does is it creates a better, more SEO friendly URL and uh, takes out this kind of basically meaningless category thing. The other thing I want you to do here is to check off, remove the reply to com variable, because if you have threaded comment, threaded replies enabled, and uh, people don't have JavaScript, it, and the user has JavaScript disabled, that can create duplicate content as well, and you want to avoid that. This is one of those ones you'll never even know is happening until you figure it out the hard way, so just check that one off. So if you check off all those steps, your website is going to be configured in such a way that duplicate content is not going to be an issue. Combine that with using excerpts properly rather than having your full post displayed on your categories and tags page and duplicate no content is not going to be an issue for you. So there you go. Uh, Yoast, real powerful plugin, and you can get lots more training on all the other functions of it just by going through their help section. Lots of good stuff there. I love this plugin. Use it on every site I build. So hope you learned something, and uh, happy WordPressing.